Hey, um, do you, would you like to pass anything, um, Peter, about Microsoft 365? How excited are you about the product? You know. Uh, I'm always very excited about Microsoft 365. Um, it's ever going, ever changing, and uh, that's what makes it so much fun to to be working with because it's uh, constantly evolving and it doesn't sit still. Amazing. Always something very exciting around the corner. Amazing. So, um, I mean, just to give people just what what are some of the cool stuff that I mean, one more thing, maybe just a, a new feature that's been added to Microsoft Teams that you know of. <laughs> Well, Teams, one of the things that we'll give you a little bit of a preview about what we'll be talking about in my talk when we do it um, next week is um, the ability to add your home page uh, site into Microsoft Teams. Uh, that's not coming for a while yet. That's rumored to be coming sometime early next year, maybe March, so quite a way away, but they announced this at Ignite uh, and it's something that SharePoint people and Teams people are, are quite excited about because this gives you the ability to work more and more within Teams. Teams is becoming the central hub for for where everyone goes to to do their work and collaborate. Amazing, amazing. So that is, you know, just about Microsoft Teams from Peter and Peter has so much, you know, it's always up to date. Um, we will take Peter's handle and then we post it in the chat. You can follow him. Um, 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 uh, Adnan, are you able to hear me now? Adnan? Uh, are you able to hear me? So Adnan will be joining a panel discussion on um, Microsoft Teams um, next week and he will start with me and then Peter will join us um, later and then we will exit and Peter will take over in, in his main session. Um, so we are so excited that we are doing this together as you know, we are now a team, right? <laughs> All of you out there. Let me send it to life. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Uh, we so much appreciate all the speakers, Peter and everyone taking their time to join the session. It's been really amazing and awesome to do this with all of you. And attendees, you are being super active, you're posting and then you're chatting and we are super excited about, you know, all the, you know, great stuff that you're having. The link is to how to get your Office 35 subscription. Uh, okay, I think Okay, Joshua, I'll be sending your um, 365 subscription video um, to the Fox as well. All right, so I think we are good then. Um, welcome, everyone. Thank you very much for taking a break and, you know, throwing your arms and dancing around, finding water to drink, and probably taking some beans. Um, thank you so much for um, coming back. Uh, we'll be beginning the session with Abiola. Abiola, um, do you have all the five questions that I asked ready? Oh, actually, I don't have it right now. I'm sorry about that because right, I had so you. many. I'll put up something for you. Thank you in your Kahoot session. Okay, no problem. All right, so um, take it away. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Good afternoon to each and every one of us. I hope you guys are doing well and I want to thank you for all you do, you know, you have been fantastic. We are proud of you. That would, you know, being our second artificial intelligence MVP in Africa. Well done. You've been fantastic. Good job. And we want to thank you also for all your support you've been showing to Nigeria in the face of the NSAS protest going on in our country. It has been a difficult moment for us as Nigerians. We just pray that God will heal our country and things will get better. So we thank you for your support in Ghana. We see your tweet on Twitter. We've seen President um, Abdo Nana Akufo you know, yeah. tweeting also. Thank you so much for all you do for us in Nigeria. Thank you. God bless you. So in today, we're looking at Microsoft Excel. My name is Abela David, and um, by the grace of God, I'm the only Microsoft Excel MVP in Africa, and I hope that to have more MVPs in Africa in Excel because my joy is that we should have at least about five MVPs in Excel in the next two years. So I'll be looking forward if anybody is really interested in going deeper in Excel, no problem. I can, you know, tutor the person and we'll see what will happen. So I hope you can hear me clearly. 
Okay, so if yes, can you are audible, you are audible, you are doing amazing. Thank you so much. God bless you. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, so in this um, session, we'll be looking at some things we need to know in Excel. Okay, so I've just prepared this is an Excel workbook entirely, so I named it Ghana Bootcamp. Okay, so we'll be seeing some little example of how to use some functions and functionalities in Excel. So one of the functions that I will probably introduce to us, which is going to be very powerful and useful for everybody, is the if function. Now the if function is a powerful function that is available in many programming language. It's just a logical or a Boolean function. Now let's see this scenario. Now in this case, I have this. Now I'm currently in the if function sheet tab. Now I have this sales records. In column A, we have um, sales executive. In column B, we have the total sales generated by each of these sales executive. Now, in column C, we want to calculate the bonus that each of these sales executive are entitled to. Now, the target is $25,000. So if the sales executive do not meet or exceed, exceed 25,000, then the fellow will not be entitled to $150 bonus. But if the sales is 25,000 or above, then the sales executive will get $150 as bonus. Now, I'm going to come in cell C4. Now, if you have a question, please get the question down. At the end of the class, I'm going to take the questions. So in cell C4, I'm going to start by typing equal sign which is the beginning of writing a formula in Excel. Now, formula by definition takes an input value and manipulate it together to deliver an output. So equal sign, then I'm going to select cell B4. So I'm going to put in if. Now the if by definition checks if whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. So I'm going to press my tab key. Now the if function has logical test value if true and value if false. So for the logical test that we want to evaluate, we we'll select cell B4, comma. So for the value if true, what we want to return? Okay, I'm going to put in equal sign or greater than. Then I'm going to select the value in F3, and I'm going to deploy what is called F4 on my keyboard to make it absolute so that when I copy the formula down, it doesn't move down. So I'm going to press F4 once. So with the F4 pressed, we have dollar signs in front of column F and row 3. Okay, so what you're saying is if B4 is greater than or equal to F3, comma, what we want, we want to return the value in cell F4. Then we make it absolute also so that when we copy the formula down, it will not move relatively. Comma. So for the value if false, what do we want? We want to return zero. So meaning that if your total sales is not equal to all in excess of 25,000, then you get zero. But if it is greater than 25,000 or equal to 25,000, you get $150. So I'm gonna just put in zero. Then I close and hit enter. Now, can you see the first person here? The person did 11,235 total sales, which is below the target. And because of that, the fellow gets zero bonus. So when I copy the formula down with this little black cross, which we call the fill and or the autofill, then it will send down the formula down immediately. So all this bunch of people, they got zero because their sales is not equal to or above 25,000. But this fellow in row number 10, William Thornton, did 42,920 dollars. And because 42,000 plus is greater than 25,000 target, is entitled to 150 dollars. Okay, so this is basically how to use the if function. It's a path function, and Everybody uses it in every space of life. Okay, it doesn't matter whether you are in other fields. If it's a general function we use in Excel. Now that is how to use the A function. 
Now I'm going to show you something interesting. I hope my network and my system will not fumble. Now you can actually see that we use dollar as our currency. Now I'm sure that we use you know CD in Ghana, right? And quite so many people want to format their numbers instead of in dollars, but they want to see it in CD. The same thing applies to us in Nigeria. Our currency is Nairo, and many times we want to format our numbers in Nigerian Naira. So because we are you know, dealing with Ghana, so I'm going to show you how you can insert CD currency as your specified currency. So what I'm going to do is simple. So I'm going to select any cell, empty cell. Then I'll come to the Insert tab. So as I click on the Insert tab to the far right of my screen, I click on Symbols. Then we click on Symbol. So this will show all the symbols we have. I believe this is Ghanaian CD, right? Am I correct? Yes. Yes, yes you are. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Good, yeah. So this is the currency for Ghana. So I'm going to just click on, having clicked on this CD symbol, click on, now before I, let me just make it understandable. Now, when you get to this symbol, you need to ensure that your font is set to normal text. Your font must be in normal text. And the subset must be in currency symbols. Okay, that is very key. And the third one is this Unicode X must be what we select. Okay, so normal text, currency symbols, and Unicode X. So when you scroll around there, you see Ghanaian CD. This is Nigerian Naira here. This is, I think, one. So let's go ahead with the CD. So double click and we insert and I close. So we have the currency symbol in a cell. So what I'm going to do is to copy this number and that symbol, press Control C on my keyboard. Then I'm going to press on my keyboard Control Panel. Okay, just give me a minute. I'm going to share the screen in a moment so that you see what I'm trying to do. So in your start bar, just type in Control Panel. I'm sure we all know where control panel is. Right, it's coming up. Okay, let me reshare so that I can see. Okay, I'm coming, I'm trying to share so that I can see what I'm doing. Things is a bit. Okay, let me stop sharing and share again. Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, so you can see where I am now. Aha, you can see the control panel, right? So in the control panel, you need to click on under the clock and region, click on change date, time, or number formats. Okay, I click on that. And um, you will see regions. So I'm going to click on additional settings. I'm not sure that you're seeing that. Okay, let me reshare also to be sure you're seeing this. Okay. Okay. So then I click on um, the currency. So can you see that, please? I want to be sure. Can you see the customized format? Okay, so I'm going to just paste in yes. the... Um, just paste in, in the currency symbol, mm -hmm. paste in the copied Ghanaian CD. So I'm going to deploy, apply. Then I click I, on I, I OK. I see your control panel currently. Is that what you're showing? Uh, yeah, it's showing control panel. Yeah, OK, cool. Uh, ta, ta, ta. You know, having to switch again to change is a bit difficult because of the sharing flexibility. OK, OK, you were sharing a specific uh, I'm screen, sharing, right? yeah. I'm currently in another you know, page, but let's see. Okay, okay I'm coming. Control Shift 4. Okay, good. Let me go. just go back to Excel. No, what I'm going to give you the steps of how I did this, okay? So that, because you probably need it in the future, anybody might need it. Okay, so I've done the whole thing. So let me show you. Now, can you see, you can see my Excel, right? So when I press Control sh yeah, Shift 4, Yes, can you see the Ghanaian city currency? 
Uh, yes. Yes, right. I'm confirming the chat if you are all able to see it as well. Yeah, but I'm sure they can see it. Okay, see. so we can actually see that I've changed it from dollar to CD. And this is very, you know, useful, okay? Because this is one of the challenges that Excel users in Nigeria, you know, they have. Many times, because our laptops or computers, they are, you know, preset to United States dollar or, you know, euro, okay? So many people want to format numbers in their local currency. And this is exactly how to do that as far as Ghanaian city is concerned, okay? So you can actually see that I've changed it to Ghanaian city, which makes sense, okay? Now let's go to another topic. Now can you even see that even all this has changed to city, okay? Now I'm going to show you some powerful things Things you need to know in Excel. Okay, there are some functions aside from the if function that we need to know in Excel. Though what I'm going to show you some headings and some other features in Microsoft Word. But as far as Excel is concerned, let's go ahead. Now, I have this sample data showing dates, sales executive, product name, and sales amount. Now, we have all the unique sales executive list here. So what we want to do essentially is to calculate the total sales, total sum of sales for each of these sales executive. And for that, we are going to use the sum ifs function in Excel. So I'm going to come to cell G3, and I'm going to start by typing equal sign, then typing sum ifs. Now the sum ifs adds the cell specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. Okay, so I'm going to press my tab key. Now the sum is requires some range, the first argument followed by the criteria range one and the criteria one. So for the sum range, it must be the number one sum together. Okay, so I'm going to click on cell D3 and on my keyboard, I'm going to press Control Shift down arrow key. Then I press F4 to lock it, in other words, to make it absolute cell reference. Okay, so this is the sum range. So when I press F9 on my keyboard, I'm able to see all the numbers in here. We are, can you see? So this is just a way of evaluating the input value. So when I press Control Z, we have it back in cell reference. Okay, so comma. So the criteria range one is going to be this range where we have the sales executive in column B, control shift down arrow key, press F4 to make it absolute, comma, and the criteria one is going to be the value here, okay? So I'm going to just select this and close my formula. When I press F9, now for Alison Vincent, the sum of sales is 51,974 CD. So I press Control Z to go back and Control Enter. So we can actually see that this person did 51,974 CD. So when I copy the formula down with the autofill, then we can actually see the total sales for each of the sales executive. So from this analysis that I've done, we can actually see clearly that the biggest sales was generated by Rebecca Cyrus. 128,304 CD, closely followed by Vicky Just. So this is essentially how we use the sum ifs function in Excel. Now we also have another function that is called a count ifs. Now the count ifs only count number based on one or more criteria. So press equal sign, then type in the count ifs. So the count ifs count number of cells specified by a given set of criteria or conditions. So press my count ifs. Also, the count ifs requires the criteria range one and the criteria one. So for the criteria range one, I'm going to select all the account manager, control shift down arrow key. I'm going to make it absolute F4 comma and the criteria one is going to be this now the reason why we use this value here is because we have sales executive here and also here 
and they are synonymous, they are closely related. That's why we are using this cis executive here and cis executive here. So these are many sites. We have many Andrew Predator here, but here we have unique cis executive, but here we have many cis executive for different dates and transaction generated. So all I need to do is to close my count if and press control enter. So we can actually see that Alison Vincent did four transactions. So when I copy the formula down, we can see the transaction for each of the account managers. The same thing we can do the average, finding the arithmetic mean. So for that, we're going to use the average ifs function. So I'm going to just press equal sign, then type in average ifs. Now we have the plural and the singular. So the difference between an average if and ifs is that the if is only able to handle a single condition or criteria, but the ifs is able to handle a set that is more than two criteria, criteria or conditions. Okay. The same thing applies to some ifs and some if. We also have count ifs and count if, so they are different thing in Excel. So for this, we are using the average ifs. So press my tab key. Again, this one requires average range, which must be the number we want to average. So I'm going to select cell D3, Control Shift Down Arrow key, press F4, comma. For the criteria range one, I'm going to select the sys executive, Control Shift Down Arrow key. F4, comma, and for the criteria one, I'm going to select the value in cell F3, close that up, control, enter. So we can actually see for the first sales executive, Alison Vincent, the average sales is 12,993 CD. So we can just copy the formula down and we can see the average for all other account sales executive then let's go ahead and total in row 16 so i've selected the range the rows then i'm going to press on my keyboard alt equal sign that is the shortcut to auto sum can you see what happens so the moment i press on my keyboard alt equal sign then it deliver the sum of all this so the sum of all the sales is 1,205,712 CD and the total count of transaction is 79 and the average of all the sales of this 1.2 million plus is 3,21,298 CD. So this is essentially how we use the count ifs, the sum ifs and the average ifs function in Excel. Now I'm going to move to a very important topic that you probably want to you know, know in Excel, which is the VLOOKUP function. OK, now let's see this scenario. We have this, you know, employee IDM. Employee records, we can actually see the name of employee, the gender, the email, the date of hire, the year spent, and the department and of course the net salary now let's say we want to look up that we want to retrieve the email address of this employee with the name ellis mark we can easily use the vlookup function to do that for us easily and please vlookup is one of the most powerful function everybody needs to know in excel because excel is a fundamental you know skill set that every company both in nigeria and i believe also in ghana and every part of the world requires you know excel is the number one data analysis in application so it is very important that you probably know all these things if you don't mind i can show you my youtube page you can even read further on some of these my videos now let's say i want to retrieve the email address of this employee named ellis mark what I'm going to do in cell B24 is type in equal sign VLOOKUP. Now the VLOOKUP by definition looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column specified. By default, 
the table must be sorted in ascending order. So I'm going to press my tab key. Now the lookup requires the lookup value, the table array, the column index, and the range lookup. So for the lookup value, we want to look up this value in cell A24, comma. So the table array, in other words, the list or the table array where we can find this lookup value is all this. Okay, I'm going to press go up. Is from three down to this G21. Okay, that is our lookup table array. Okay, let me just continue in the formula bar so you can just follow through in the formula bar here. Then press my comma. So for the column index number, now the VLOOKUP is an interest, interesting, you know, function in Excel. Very easy to understand and very easy to confuse. Now we have specified the table array, which is G. A3 to G21. So for the column index number, since we are interested in retrieving the email address, so this is column index number one, this is two, this is three. So automatically the email address is located in column index number three around here. So I'm going to just type in three as a value, then comma. Now the VLOOKUP has to matching. There is approximate matching and the exact matching. So for the exact matching, we need to specify it false or zero. So I'm going to just specify false because by default, the VLOOKUP performs approximate matching. But what we want to do has to do with exact match, not approximate. We use approximate matching with numbers, but we use exact match with numbers and even text. So in this case, we are interested in pulling a text and email address. So we need to use the false. So close my formula and I deploy control enter. So you can actually see we have the email address retrieve, which is mac.ellis at hr.com. And that is accurate. Let's just see it here. Um, Ellis, let me check the name. Okay, Ellis, Mark, can you see? It's accurate. So we have been able to retrieve this value easily without any much stress. Now there's something called data validation that I place in here. So when I just click on this drop down and let's say I choose Sanders Sean from this drop down, then this automatically updates. Can you see we have you know Sean Sanders? So if I choose another one from this drop down, which we call data validation in Excel, let's say I choose you know Flanders Daniel and we can see the email address retrieved. Okay, now the topic that I gave our um, organizer is the feature of, of Excel. Now the VLOOKUP is now becoming an obsolete function for us in the world of Excel because Microsoft has evolved at least in the last eight months there has been a lot of new values new features, new functions that's been released. And many of us, as a person, I don't use the VLOOKUP again. I use what is called an X, X lookup. Now, the VLOOKUP simply stands for V. The V stands for vertical, meaning that it looks up vertically. And we also have another one that is called the H lookup, which looks horizontally. Now, the X lookup is able to do the job of VLOOKUP and the H lookup combined. And that is the most powerful thing we have seen. So let me quickly show us that in you know, X lookup. If you have it, you can try it in your system. Let me just copy this email address. I'm sorry, this employee name, Barry Adam. I'm going to paste here. Now let's say I want to retrieve all the records for Barry Adam here. I want to retrieve it in here. I'm going to just use the X lookup to do that more easily. So let's see in cell B23 equal sign. Then I'm going to deploy the X lookup. By definition, it searches a range or an array for a match and returns the corresponding item from a second range or array. By default, it performs exact match. So press my tab key. Now, the lookup value we want to find is the value in cell A23, comma. Now, the lookup array is where we can find this lookup value. So, the array is this list here from A3 down to A21, okay? 
and comma. So let me just move this up. Now the return array that is exactly what we want to return is all this list from gender to net salary. And that's all. When I close my formula and I hit control enter, see what happens. Amazing. We can actually see that we have retrieved all the records of Barry Adam, his email, and the email address is adam.barry at hr.com. Now, this date of IR is showing as a serial number. So, what I'm going to do is select this cell, come to the home tab of the ribbon, and in the number formatting group, I click on this drop down and I select the short date and that will show the date properly. So it was employed on the 22nd of April 20, 2004 and he has, been, he has been working with us for 14 years and approximately seven, six months. And he works in customer service and his net salary is 55,973 cities. So let's check whether it correlates. Can you see? It correlates. So we have been able to retrieve the records. Now, let me copy another one, Clark Elizabeth. So when I paste here, everything becomes updated automatically. So you can actually see she's a female, email address, employed on the 19th of May 2017. He has been working with us for approximately one year and six months. He works in customer service, and this is the net salary. So these are powerful new things coming up in Excel. Absolutely amazing. Now, before we move to another topic, which is the VLOOKUP approximate matching, I'm going to show us another example here. Now, let's say we want to retrieve all the net salary of all these five employees here. So we can actually use the VLOOKUP or even the XLOOKUP to do that. So let me use XLOOKUP to do that quickly to show you. X lookup. So the lookup value is the value in cell I3, comma, and we have the lookup array in A3 to A21, comma. Now, because I'm going to copy this formula down, I need to make it to be absolute to apply F4. So I'm going to press on my keyboard F4 once, comma. So for the return array, we want to return the net salary from G three to G 21. Then I make it absolute also. Then finally we close the X lookup, control enter. We can see 55,311 as the net salary for Ellis Mark. So when I copy the formula down, you can see for Galfib, the net salary is 38,292 CD. So let me just show you the VLOOKUP now equal sign VLOOKUP, press my tab key, the lookup value is this, comma, and the table array is going to be all this bunch, so that's the difference between the two, make it absolute, comma, and for the column index number, this is column index number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so the net salary is in the column in index number 7, so I'm going to just type in 7, then I close, okay, comma. Finally, we make it exact match, or you can even put zero. They are the same thing. Close, and we copy the formula down, Control shift 4. So we achieve the same result using the old school VLOOKUP function and the new school XLOOKUP function. And I would want to encourage us in Africa as much as possible to, you know, get this new Microsoft Office um, suit because there are newer things in Office nowadays. And I believe that we need to compete, you know, with other people from other advanced countries. So for us to be able to compete with them, I think it's very important for us to use the latest version of all these Microsoft technologies. It could be in Azure or AI or whatever. Just make sure that you have the latest in technology or update so that I can exactly know or do what other people from other countries are doing. Now, it, will be so, it is so interesting that we have about um, 85 or 90 MVPs in all over the world, but we have only one in Africa. That's bad, is it not? It's bad. 
I, I believe that we should be able to have at least like five, at worst, five Excel MVPs in Africa. You understand? So I look forward to seeing more of our people on the MVP list. Okay, so that's how to use the VLOOKUP exact match. Now let's go to the VLOOKUP approximate matching. Now this is an interesting uh, one. Let me just scroll. Um, let me just a minute. Okay. I'm trying to scroll. All right. Okay. Okay, so we want to see the VLOOKUP approximate match time. Now we have the sales executive numbers and of course the sales total sales generated or sales amount. Now this company do give commission to their sales executive in order to encourage them to work more assiduously and get more you know, sales into the company. Now the rule of the commission is that if your sales is between zero to 14,999, you get zero. But the moment your sales generated eight fifteen thousand, and it terminates at 39,999, you get 450 CD as a commission. The moment your sales generated eight forty thousand on dots, and it terminates at 59,999, you get a thousand. 1,200 city. So from 60,000 to 79,999, you get 1,800 city. And if your sales generated is 80,000 above, then you are entitled to 2,400 city. Now let's see how to do that. Let me just make this to be in city. Control shift down arrow key F4. Okay. Now equal sign. Then we deploy the VLOOKUP also. Now, the lookup value is going to be the sales that is in cell I4, comma. Now, the table array is going to be all this. So I'm going to select this range together, excluding these labels or headers above. So I'm going to press on my keyboard F4 to make it absolute so that when I copy the formula down, it doesn't move down. Okay, so I'm going to make it absolute, comma. So for the column index number that we want to return is this is column index number one, and this is column index number two. So we are interested in returning or retrieving the approximate match type in column index number two. Now, what I'm saying may be strange to some of us, probably if we don't use Excel as much as um, I believe, but don't worry, you can always you know, go back through this video or you can even um, view more of these kind of lectures on my YouTube channel. So. I'm going to just type in two as a value, then comma. So for the approximate match, we can put in true, or you can even put in one, or you can even disregard it entirely because the VLOOKUP is built to perform approximate match type. So you can even skip that last argument, or you can put one, it's still the same thing, or you can even put true. They are all the same thing then close the formula control enter now this sales executive andrew prendel did sales of seventeen thousand seven three nine now this is the rule of how approximate match type works now in in our lookup in our table array we have zero fifteen thousand forty 60 and 80 sorted in ascending order okay now the moment the VLOOKUP is scanning through this section here it's able to see zero here and we know that 17,000 plus is greater than 15,000 then it moves down here and the moment it saw 40,000 because 40,000 is greater than 17,000 then it moves back to this 15,000 then looks to the right and they turn this 450 CD. That's the way it works. It can be difficult someone to understand. Let me just repeat that. This fellow did 17,000, and based on our list here, we have 0, 15, 40, 60, 80. So we do not have any 17,000 around this area. 
but we only have a range, okay? So it is either 0, 15, 40, 60, or 80. Now, because this says is 17,000, so the moment the VLOOKUP was scanning through this environment and it's able to see 15,000, then it moves down here. But because it's able to see 40,000, then it moves back up to 15,000. Then it's delivered the value, corresponding value, which is 450 CD. And that's the reason why we have 450 as the commission for the first sales executive. So I'm going to just copy down. Then we have all the other numbers. Now let's see this one also. Um, Alison Vincent, he did 74,810 CD. Now, because 80,000 CD is far is greater than 74,000, then as the formula was looking down here, it's able to see 80,000 there, it moves back to 60 and it's returned 1,800 CD, which is exactly what we have here. So this is how to use the VLOOKUP exact and approximate match type. Okay. Now, may I know how many minutes I have left? Left. Um, I think you will have like uh, ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes. Minute. Okay. But you've really, I mean, you are nailing it. Everyone in the chat is saying you're doing <laughs> so much well. That's so much energy and power over there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, again, I'm going to quickly you know, run another VLOOKUP. Now, we have this data, date, sales executive product, the sales amount. Now, we want to populate all this column E with the corresponding country from this you know, list. Now, this business, they operate in Botswana, in Ghana, in Nigeria, and in South Africa. Okay? So, we have this list of sales executive and we also have it here, all right? So in cell E3, I'm going to deploy. Now I'm going to use the um, XLOOKUP file. I can even use the filter function, but let me just stay in XLOOKUP so that we can understand this clearly. And I also show us the VLOOKUP. Now the XLOOKUP requires the lookup value again. So because our lookup array is in this section this section here column g and this is the return array so i'm going to click on cell b4 comma now the best way to understand and the best way i learn excel is to ensure that i follow these screen tips that is the best way to learn excel no need to cram anything no but no, there's no need to cram anything in excel i did economics in the university and I excel in economics because I'm able to understand formulas. I'm able to understand how, what, what, what is the intricacies behind all these things. You understand? So all you, once you understand all this, what is lookup value, lookup array, and so on and so forth, you are as good as myself. So there's no magic in it. I wasn't born learning Excel. If I never, I never operated Excel while I was in the university. It was after I left university that I became a pro in Excel. So it is possible that you can also even get to the level that I am in Excel. Nothing is impossible. Okay. Now we have specified the lookup value, which is cell B4. Here, yeah? then we put in a comma. Always remember a comma to move you to the next input value or what is called arguments. So the lookup array is what's going to be from G4, control shift down arrow key. Then I'm going to make it absolute by pressing F4 on my keyboard. So this is our lookup array and the return array, that is the array we want to return or want to retrieve is this G, sorry, H4 to, oh, excuse me. I, okay, let me select this. Control shift down arrow key, F4, then comma. So the return array is from H4, control shift down arrow key. Now I use you know shortcut a lot because with shortcuts you are more efficient and productive. Okay, so everything is fine. Then close the formula, control enter. So we can actually see this fellow, Mabo Limse, operates in Nigeria. Okay, so when I copy the formula down, we can see. South Africa, Ghana, Botswana, Nigeria, and so on and so forth. Now let's calculate the total sales generated from each of these four operating countries. 
So in cell K4, I'm going to deploy equal sign. Then I use the sum ifs function. Press my tab key. The sum range must be the range that contains the numeric value you want to sum. So this is our numeric value, sales amount, control shift down arrow key, press F4 to make it absolute, comma. The criteria range one is this list of countries. In click on cell E4, control shift down arrow key, F4 to make it absolute. Now, in this case, you can actually see country. This is what's called in Excel a named range. Now, time will not permit me to go in depth into this name range. Probably next Saturday, if I'll be presenting, I'll show you all these tricks. Okay, but at this level, let's just take it. So we have country, comma. So the criteria is going to be this. I click on Botswana in cell J4, close my formula, control enter, and then we copy down the formula. Okay, so we can actually see that the total sales generated from Botswana is 966,000 cities. For Ghana, we generated 458,000 plus. For Nigeria, we generated 809,000 cities. For South Africa, 450,146. Now, clearly, you can actually you know, decide that we are getting more revenue from Botswana. And as a business, you know, people, you need to focus the more on Botswana market so that you can sustain the revenue you're getting and of course you need to also sit down as a management to look at what are the things you are doing in Botswana and probably in Nigeria that you need to probably replicate in Ghana and in South Africa which will increase the revenue so these are business decisions that, that management makes okay but they make all this decision by having a clear data like this for them to work with okay so this is I'm going to just press on my keyboard, Alt, Equal Sign, Control, Enter. So the total revenue is 2,676,887 CD. This is amazing. Now, as I'm sure I have less than five minutes to go. Now, there's what is called a pivot table. I'm going to close with that. With a pivot table, you don't even need to pass through all these difficult and rather uneasy formulas. That that you may actually not understand at once. But with the, VLOOK, um, with the pivot table rather, you can actually get this kind of res result without much stress. So what I'm going to do is click in a cell, come to the insert tab of the ribbon, and in the tables group, we have the pivot tables here. So from here, oh, wow, there's a new update. Interesting. Oh, I'm just seeing some new, new things here. Cool. Okay, I'm going to click on... Um, Sorry, pivot table. Okay, click on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> These are new features. Click on from table slash range. Then you're going to see this pivot table from table slash range. Now we have the range here. So what I'm going to do is click on this. Now we can choose where you want to put the pivot table to place it. So I'm going to choose existing worksheets. Then for the location, let me just choose this cell just very close here and i click enter now quickly let me show you the same results let me just dock this here now we displayed country so when i choose this value and i drop it in the rows area of the pivot table feed spain we have this list of countries here and um, i need the sales which is this column that contains our numbers then I drop that inside the values area. Can you see that we generated the same numbers? Exactly what we did with the sum. It's, oops, it won't allow me to do this. So let me just apply number format. Then choose currency. So we are fine with Ghanaian city currency and two decimal places. So I click on OK. So can you see that we generated, we I mean achieved the same result, two million six seven six thousand plus, and with this, so this is essentially how we use the functions and the pivot table in Excel, and if you can even um, graphically display this on the charts. Okay, let me just display this on the charts. 
select the range, come to the insert tab. Then we have all kind of charts. Let me just do it on a pie chart. I love pie chart and 3D, three dimensional charts. It's coming up. OK. So I prefer this chart style. So this is the whole thing. Let me just change this um, quick. I prefer to display numbers. Now, this is the pie chart of the total sales that we generated. And this is essentially how we use chart in Excel. You can see that the total sales for Nigeria account for 30%. The total sales for Ghana account for 17% and Botswana 36% and South Africa 17%, okay? So with this, we can actually make more decision and you move forward. So you can always play around with all these things. Now, as I close, as I, now this is what's called legends, okay? In Excel, this is the chat title in Excel. Now, as many of you, as I close now, I'm true, as many of you that want to probably, you know, focus the more on Excel, um, you can always get across with me. You know, Excel is so simple to understand, but it requires a lot of practice, practice, practice. You know, I don't know Excel within. I mean, I practice a lot for me to get to where I am today. I know that I mean so many aspects of Excel, but I'm still learning. I'm still, you know, making more research, finding how things work because there are new innovations, new things coming up, and you can't afford to just say that with the little knowledge you have. You need to continue to, you know, get more knowledge try it out, see what works and what doesn't work. And by that, you'll be able to become a professional or a power user like me. I hope I've been able to do some justice to this little um, presentation. Okay, Mr. My friend, you can take over, please. Control. Um, that was... Um, that was Super amazing. You did so well. You got everyone wowing. We just said you did, you nailed it. And um, Adnan said you did it so well. Um, Emmanuel said you more than killed it. The attendees are in the chat and they are wowing. They never saw Excel to that extent. So, I mean, you are the real MVP. You are the real MVP. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so Dan said it's normal. He's an MVP. What do you expect? <laughs> yes, <Yeah, sure. laughs> that was absolutely fantastic from Peter. So it, it's been great doing this with you. I mean, um, I'm super excited that we got this whole thing together. Um, we, we still have, I mean, a slot on the last day. I'm thinking um, if some of you, if you and then other speakers are able to make time, we can have a fun chat whilst, you know, topping up the little okay. things that we couldn't finish um, up uh, with the attendees. So it's been really, really a great session. Absolutely, everyone likes it. I, I love it so much too. Um, I, I don't know, is um, Khadija, has Khadija been able to connect with the PC now? We could invite you to talk. Uh, Diana? <laughs> oh, okay, Khadija is here. Awesome. Diana, what's up? What's up? Uh, Bezo Money, how do you see this helping Bezo Money? <laughs> okay. Next session. Diana. Diana. Yeah, you just saw Excel. How do you see it helping you in your day to day activities? Uh, it was a very, very useful tutorial. And it's going to help us with our customer database and um, uh, managing all the things uh, that our users uh -huh. input to bring to our business. Fine. Amazing, amazing. So it's it's really great. Thank you so much for doing this, um, David. We have a cut for your session, of course, to let you know attendees, um, two other attendees to win um, a bottle, a uh, Microsoft okay. customized bottle, and we have a t-shirt for those attendees who attended today and then are attending um, any whether next week or the next two weeks um, or the next after that the last session any of them are, are really you know cool we would give you a t-shirt um thank you so much for doing this with us uh, i posted a link after the session you can click on the link and then uh, go fill out the survey um about the session um so i'll be sharing my screen i was able to gather some small you know um questions they are very simple ones um okay. whilst abiola was presenting 
Okay, I feel like you've made that Excel to the maximum. Uh, the guy has made it. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm just, I feel like you can share your, um, your Twitter handle, Peter as well, and also okay. your YouTube channel, so that, I mean, attendees are able to follow you. Okay. Up. Yeah, okay, I'm just, just like um, in one minute, let me just show you my tweet, um, what's Perfect. it called, my YouTube Perfect. channel. You do. Okay, so, I mean, there are so, because I drop in so many um, videos regularly, so you can subscribe and learn from us. Okay, so this is my YouTube channel. See so many videos. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. So awesome. Please do subscribe. Videos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those videos are really cool. When I wanted, you know, to find out the the best guys to do this with, I had to go through your YouTube channel and watch one two videos, and I was like, okay, okay. I mean, this is the kind of guy that we are looking <laughs> for. So I I absolutely have much confidence in all the speakers because I've seen, I've I've, I've seen what they are capable of doing, and I did my little investigation to get everyone um um here so um thank you very much um to the you know the host and the moderators thank you so much khadija to uh, everyone who helped out you know uh, for us to put this together we are so much um you know excited that we will be to do this uh, with you all so i'm just putting up the eight questions together and we should up on kahoot and we see who is going to take our nest um yeah, we we'll see who is going to take our next uh, award. Okay, okay, looks like I'm almost set. Uh, okay, cool. Just um, just a second. Please post in your uh, questions. And um, hi, uh, Khadija. What's your remark on um, the session? Um, yeah, it was super amazing. Yeah, I feel like you did. I think uh, I got to the session when I realized started and presenting, and it was super wow. Thanks so much. And Thank I think everything went perfect here yeah, in the beginning. There were so much glitches because some of us were trying to use our phone to join. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Yeah, forgive me. I, I should have mentioned that, you know, joining with your phone wouldn't allow you to it will just allow you to join us, you know, if attendee. Forgive me about that. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much. Um, so I'm probably going to share my screen and okay. then um, we're going to start the Kahoot and we're going to find out who is going to be the, lead, the winner of this session on Microsoft Excel. All right. Cool. And we are recording this session, so I would prepare it and upload it on YouTube as well, so those who okay. missed the session can still watch it. Um, so let me just share my screen right away. Cool. Um, confirm if you're able to see my screen. Can you see? Oh, sorry. Um, it's not yet up. Let me put it up there. It's up. Just, just, oh, it's up. All right, awesome. Uh, that deals with such data. Yeah, so um, one thing before we go on the couch is that uh, we created a Microsoft Teams. I mean, we could have simply shared link to all attendees to just join, but rather we invited you to join Microsoft Teams channel. Um, the, reason, the reason is that we want to continue to, you know, improve on whatever you learn from after the bootcamp. It doesn't have to end with the bootcamp. I mean, I have run 40 plus 50 events um, and um, organizing and doing all these things. I know sometimes it's just not best we leave you after the event. So, um, you know, putting all of you under Microsoft Teams channel and then we existing with you means that we can organize more session and then we can uh, answer questions when you have one. We can build an ecosystem or a community that um, is really going to, you know, help a lot of people. Um, so, um, so that is why you are in the channel. So please um, keep staying in there and be super active. 
uh, we will keep getting more speakers and then all the speakers that joined us would you know keep trooping into um, you know answer questions and then you know share their ideas with you so let's go to Kahoot let's generate the pin I'm generating the pin um, let me generate the pin so okay you have a pin Uh, just a second, I'm making a general post. Okay, so we are almost there. Let me go into the chat so I can put up um, the link to join. Um, almost all of you know it right now. We're going to take our last option down. Um, and then this is the key. So in the chat, type Excel. Just type Excel in the chat and I'll pick it up. Uh, we'll use that to authenticate to attend us one more time. I want to know who and are those that pick it. Um, if you have questions for Abiola, we will pick it to you. Oh, the guy said I love this guy too much. I have been learning Excel, but I just realized big joke. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, that's such beautiful comment for you. And then Thank we are you. so sorry about what is happening. I hear wish Okay, so we have quite a number of people joining in. I'm just going to turn on the, my system audio. So, yeah. Hi, nine people. Um, I know I'm going to be Edwin. Alex, Uncle Sam, Ali, Becca, Lucy. Yeah, let's see who gets there as well. I'm gonna get start, but so get uh, a session. All right, so if you're joining late, you can go to the IT executive card and to see the code I put up. I don't want anyone to drop off such a right away. Thank you so much for the there's so much fantastic questions coming up just, just stay tuned just stay tuned um thank you so much for joining you can start now. Okay, MS Bootcamp, Excel. Right away, let's go. Question number one, can we use the city sign of format numbers in our local currency? Can we format numbers in our local currency? Can we use the city sign? Yep, okay, eight. Okay, we're going, we're going. Seven people entered, three people. Okay, and we go. All right, seven people. Went for it. Four people scored. Three people. 
um, had it wrong and maybe what zero. So let's see who is on top of the game today. Okay, Uncle Sam is 958. Uh, we have Kamikaze Panda. All right, I hope I pronounce it um, at the bottom. And we have uh, 5773967 as 829. That's really awesome. So we have people coming up. Um, am I mentioning your, na your name right? Is it Likey or something? Um, Kadi, you can join me in, you know, moderating this session. <laughs> Are you having fun already with the Kahoot? Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's see the next question. Ooh. The function um, called Kahoot in Excel. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also playing the game, but I'm hiding and doing it, so. <laughs> ah. Wait. Wait. What did he say? <laughs> I am playing the game, but I'm using a nickname. No one knows me, so um, if I don't score, no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are hidden. That's why you can use nickname here. So we have two out of eight questions, and then we have six people, you know, scoring. Um, it's all, which means people are really following. Um, uh -huh. So it means we're going good, right? Yeah. Okay, um, Abiola, I think we are right. Yeah. Is our, is, yes, is, is our answer. Okay, cool. So let's go to next then. Diana, did Diana join? <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> yeah, it makes it more interactive and fun. All right, so we have who is the first person, Khadija? Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam is at the top. Alium, okay. Leaky, Edwin, Edwin, and um, 577. I think Khadija is a 577. Uh, okay, I so am not. <laughs> We need to well, find I out which. You know. If I don't win, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find out who is going to, you know, be um, coming on the leaderboard because, I mean, some people are still there and they are going to jump in. Remind you, this is just two out of eight questions. So that means we still have someone to troop in. Let's see who goes next. All right. Question number three. Average if requires average range. True or false? All right. Okay. Nine, eight, seven, six minutes, six seconds, four seconds, four, three seconds, two, seven. The last person enters. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think I like that beat over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so we had four people getting it right and two getting it wrong, and then one saying maybe so. So maybe he so, thinks yeah. so, yeah. I remember when we were kids, we used to play this game, and then you'd be like, um, yes, yes, no. no, it may maybe be so. so. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that is it over there. It's not an answer, it's either you're getting it right or not. My sign up today has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Peter, for joining. You've been You've been so much amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, would you like to leave some last words before we go? Um, Gita? Any last words? So we can prepare any Excel problem we have. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, Gita. So let's go to the next. Um, Adnan, how are you enjoying the game? Okay, so let's see. In the leaderboard, Uncle Sam hey, still Uncle feels Sam. on top. Whoa. Uncle Sam is refusing to go down. Let's see. <laughs> Three <laughs> out of <Uncle>. eight. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Sam is still at the top, and he has like about 100 um, points different. And we have Becca joining in again. Becca mm -hmm. won, you know, our most active person in... Um, in, in, in teams. Um, so um, congrats, Becca. And we, we're still looking for the person who is going to win the, you know, tweeting 
um, like the person who is going to win um, the best tweet over there. So we are looking forward to that. Head to Bezos Usu on Twitter and retweet the stuff. We are watching all this stuff. Um, so let's go on. Alison Vincent. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. I mean, I'm wrong. Alison Vincent was not used um, as sales executive to our point. Oh, okay. Uh, surprisingly, uh, um, <laughs> surprisingly, uh, one got it right, and right. actually, I think it's me. Person was used. That was not you. We won't take that one. I think <laughs> it, it it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's see who jumps on the leaderboard. Okay, Uncle Sam still hey. stays at the top. Uh, is it Likey or Likey is catching up with Uncle Sam? Becca stays at the bottom. Edwin is still maintaining the position in a comfortable zone. And let's see who gets to take over. Mind you, someone can still take over from yeah. Uncle Sam. Likey or uh, Likey is coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. have just like 60 years, like uh, 60 years or so. Yeah. So yeah. let's see. Yeah, someone is going to take over. I'm very confident mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. So and that's me. Sorry, I'm moderating at the same time playing this. So playing, yeah. And um, Diana, I think Mubarak is trying to reach out to you as well. Um, he said it's urgent, urgent. So, um, Maybe you should look at that. Okay. True or false question is coming up. The look up is used to look up anything in our Excel sheet. True or false? Oh, already six four answer seven. Oh wow. Okay. Everyone had it right. Um Abiola, I'll be right. Yes, please. Oh, okay. eight people. Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's head over to the <laughs> Dan. Um, how are you enjoying the game? Dan, are you there? Okay, so we need to we need to give you know Dan um, a big shout out. He did all the design works and he's been super supportive. So Dan, shout out to you for such a great um, work over there. I'm excited we worked on this together uh, with everyone else. Um, so, Adnan, who do you think is going to lead? Adnan, who do you think is going to lead the leaderboard before I... Hello, be Adnan. Okay, I think... I Adnan think he's maybe yeah, he has he moved is. away, but because okay. I can see him so shining. Uh, okay. Um, Emmanuel is joining with the phone, so you know, be able to talk. Um, who is there as a speaker or moderator? Um, I think we Alex is still around, okay. Adnan is still on, but I don't know why. Yeah, he, um, yeah. okay. He oh, said, oh, I'm see. here, I sorry. have some audio issues. Sorry, sorry about that, Adnan. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let's see. In a comfortable lead, still so is Uncle Sam. Edwin comes off the fourth. Becca goes to the third. And then we lose Likey. And Ali, I didn't see him there. How come? Was he there from the beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there. I think he was second. And now uh, Likey has just taken over Ali. Awesome. We are wrapping up the game. Let's see mm -hmm. the next question. Um, six out of eight. The default VLOOKUP performs exact matching. By default, is it true? By default, the VLOOKUP performs exact matching. Who is the seven percent and the eight percent join? Okay. Okay. Oh. Right, more people had it, 
and Su did not go to the podium. The force of it. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. The Oh, yeah, two didn't. Yeah. So, B, look up. So it means, I mean, I be a lot of people were really paying attention to your game. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Um, if you just joined, you can still join with this code. Go to kahoot.it and this is the code to join with. 5773967 to join. Um, I think I should probably join you, Anna. Anna, I'm also saying. What do you guys say? I should join, right? I'm going to join. Um, I'm probably going to be. Yeah, join and lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then that my will join. Let's see. Join. join and I lose. know if you don't win, you are going to say you joined in late. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's go. Join, join and lose. lose. That's my okay. name now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go. Okay. Uncle Sam still stays at the top with 4,811 points. Whoa. And Edward stays at the bottom with 2,688. I'm probably Uncle Sam. Oh, no. I, I, you don't know. Maybe I'm the Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam, are you there? All right. So um, let's move on to our seventh question. Then we have our last but one. And if I don't win, you know the reason, I join and lose. Okay, so that's businessinstitute.com. Head over to uh, subscribe. Tell your mom about it. We are really trying to help the informal sector. But VLOOKUP does not perform a tax matching by default. True, of course. Oh, actually, sorry. I mean, I'm sure you saw it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my oh my oh my oh my god. <laughs> oh, 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 you know what? Oh my because god. I did not select. Because I did not select. <laughs> no, that oh. would we are not saying. <laughs> oh they my god, I'm, I'm not right playing. Yeah. In the 15th place, bro. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, so about 15 people joined, and I'm at the 15th, and someone is losing. It's Khadija. It's I not know. me. I know it's Kavija. So it's let's crazy. see who stays at the comfortable lead. I hope someone Uncle takes Sam. over from Uncle Sam this time around. Hi. So wow. much comfortable, but someone is cutting up with 300 points. Last game, you know what? To overthrow Uncle Sam, you just need to answer very quickly if you know the yeah. answer. Right. Answering so, yeah, really yeah. helps a lot. Okay, uh, Fatal, thank you so much for joining. Fatal has been there from the beginning all the way from Wali Wali. Um, thank you so much for joining and everyone else. Becca still stays at the third. Edwin and Likey goes to the fourth. Edwin and we have, is it Alium, right? Alium, Alium. <laughs> I think that's you. Look at the <laughs> <isn't it>? hey. <laughs> All right, so let's go for the last one so we can give Fox a break. Thank you so much for doing this with us. We are so much happy. We hope you learned a lot from um, the session. All right, let's head over to the next one. True or false? Did Abiola see new updates? This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I answered. I'm gonna be the anymore. Right. Thank you so much for making it. Yeah. Um uh, do we still have Dan? Uh and who is at the background? Uh Alex, are you there? Who is there with us? Thank you so much for doing this with us. We are so much excited. It's been a long day of spending time with you, about two hours, 30 minutes or three hours. Thank you so yeah. much. We hope you had, you, you know, a great time um, sure, with sure. all of us. Let's hold over to see who won this time around. Like, who is the champion? In the first game, who won? In the first game, I think someone won. I've forgotten the person, but it wasn't Uncle Sam. So it's good we have Uncle Sam. Um, it wasn't Diana. Diana was the third. Someone was the first. 
so we'll look out for the person and then so that was becca right. becca was said <laughs> all right so let's hold over let's see who wins this time okay the third position goes to ali wow. <laughs> And the second position, Becca, and I think I'll do something here over this time around or someone. Surprise! Surprise me! Okay! Wow! He's going to find it and take it. Okay, that's it. Uh, find it in the next two or three days. From the onset, and the sun was always at the top part, and it was in the game. And Becca was at the top. All of a sudden, things came to her in the second position. And Ali um, being at the other side. Hmm. Did you know that Becca is in the game of the game? And Nada was still in the game. And as the sun is having an extra so Becca is having a up to the every item. Congratulations to everyone. Survey. Please take the survey. Um, I love this guy so much. Um, so that was a comment to you, um, David. Um, we thank, thank you. you for staying safe um, in Nigeria. Um, and then we wish all of you um, safe and we wish all the problems just solved. Uh, yeah. Mm. Rebecca is the second position and takes away more bottles than anyone during the day. Uh, we are so much excited that you did this with all of us. Uh, Diana on the call. Oh, Mubarak. Yes, so we I called up Diana to join. I hope she joined. Um, let's see. My answer countdown are coming before the question. Oh, sorry. She could have won then. Um, let's see. Who else? Uh, Rebecca says that thanks, guys. Uh, thank you too. This is seven point behind Edwin. Yeah, and you eventually take over, uh, took over the second position. Um, any last word from you, Abiola, before we exit? Yeah, thank you so much for organizing this awesome, awesome boot camp. I mean, you're really doing a good job, and I salute the leadership of Ghanaian um, um, boot camp. You know, you're doing well. I hope that we'll continue to do this together because we are all you know together as brothers so thank you so much for inviting me i really appreciate it. so yeah. if you probably want to know more in excel of course you can always you know connect with me via um, twitter or mm -hmm. linkedin abdullah david and i hope that we'll have more mvps in africa because that's my goal 